Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dave Anderson and this is Heli Cool Heli Pad. Yeah, I just got everything uh, basically pulled out of the field. It was an amazing time from the uh, the Great Western FM TV Roundup. Fabulous people. And I'm telling you what, I went out there and did a police call. I didn't find anything, maybe two tiny little things. And I think probably one of those was my own. So what a clean bunch of, of, uh, of folks that came out there to the, to the roundup. It was just amazing. So today we're going to be working on the electrical for the trailer. And also I'm going to do some uh, painting on the trailer. We started it at the roundup, but it needs to have a second coat because one coat just doesn't do it. So you guys stay tuned. We're gonna have some fun today. Ooh-wee, the winds are kicking like a kung fu movie. Well, this is the box that I got. Okay, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And this big long wire goes to a seven blade, civilian styled uh, trailer connection or truck connection. This would actually go uh, plug into the truck. So it is really convenient that it has all of these little posts here. I can just put the wire, the existing wire right through here and uh, put it into all of these lugs and I should be good to go. And then it also comes with all of these plastic, well, they're kind of rubberized plastic to seal that back up. And I'm gonna mount this right underneath the frame of the trailer. This ought to work beautiful. All right, so this is what I did. I do have the schematic that came with the cable. So it shows all the things that it uh, actually should go to. And I also downloaded three of these. Let me see if I can put this behind it. You can see it a little better. Three of these schematics that I got off of um, a couple of the LMTV Facebook pages that I'm involved with. These particularly came from the uh, LMTV, MTV, Military Trucks Facebook group. And if you want to be a part of that group, uh, you need to answer all the questions and promise to obey. <laughs> that's just it. And you have access to all this stuff. That's not the only place where you can find it, but that is a place that I found it. And I just wanted to give a shout out to that group. Now that I've got the wire all exposed, uh, this, this actually is numbered, okay? Is it? Yeah, it should be numbered. Where are my glasses? Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't have my glasses on, but each of these are numbered. And it's uh, one through 17. So I'm gonna pull up, I'll just put this on your screen. I'm gonna pull up the power distribution of those 17 and I know they're coded but I can take those codes with this picture and figure out how they go into these seven pins. Okay, so I'm setting this up as a test. It's a blind test, but I'll get it on video, so I'll be able to check it out later. Right turn stuff. 
Now let's check and see if any of that worked. Okay, with a ground wire this time. Reverse light. Mm. Right turn stop. Mm. Left turn stop. Mm. Running light. Mm. All right, well, does that do anything? Well, I think I've got a grounding issue because so, nothing works. Uh, so I pulled the light, put the ground back here. Let's just see. Yep. Lights are working. So there's a grounding issue. And well, I can tell that one wasn't even hooked up. It was just laying back here. I hate grounding issues. But you know what? That's mostly why these lights don't work. Your trailer lights don't work. Other lights don't work. DC has to have a good, good ground in order to work. I am not going to enjoy cleaning all of these connectors up. I'm not going to enjoy it. I'm not. I will not enjoy it. I refuse. <laughs>I don't know if you saw that in the time lapse, but uh, you might want to hold on to your lights uh, when you're undoing it because um, it could just start turning this violently <laughs> and wrap all this around. And yeah, I kind of messed things up. So fortunately, this is still in really good shape, although this is a piece of junk anyway. So it wouldn't have been that great of a loss. I was able to show you right there. Get these all cleaned up. I'm gonna spray some uh, battery protectant on it and get these things wired back in. Maybe get some Vaseline and I think we'll be good to go. supposed to be that one. Oh my gosh no wonder let's just see if that one goes to a different one yep no wonder why I couldn't get it yeah that diagram is either not the right one or something happened where this thing got wired up screwy and that's why it ain't working. But I figured it out. It's called ringing it out. Son of a They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. All right, fellas, so there's a little oddity about how the truck and the lights work. And what I had to do was ring everything out. And what I mean by that is you put your... Uh, multimeter if you have one of these uh, and it goes ohms and it has that little you can see that little uh, uh, looks like a volume or something control right there that is how you ring things out and basically all you're doing is checking connectivity between the wires so it should sound like this if you have connection between this wire and that and then I also um, put it on um, DC while Malachi was running and I checked that seven pin connector that's on the back uh, that being the 12 volt side and the other connector on the uh, driver's side I believe is the 24 volt connector and I think it has 12 pins so anyway the brake 
lights are on one pin and each of the turn signals left and right are on two separate pins and <laughs> the way that a civilian connector is wired up is that the turn and the stop is on the same pin or on the same blade as this would depict. So I'm gonna kinda have to change things up and what I did is I put the brake lights, um, I'm gonna wire that up to the brake, electric brake wire. Um, so it's gonna work with this trailer, but it's not gonna work with another civilian rig. So especially one that has that has brakes like my trailer does. So, well, it is what it is. If you guys know a different way, then shoot me a little comment down below. I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep going with what I'm doing. There it is mounted beautiful like on the frame rail and go forward right to the truck. I'm liking it. Well, I think I got the trailer pretty well wired up and uh, now I need to start working on Malachi and uh, get it wired up as well. I didn't, I wasn't able to show any of the painting that I did on the, the trailer. I'll, I'll put that in the next video, but uh, you know what? I'm at the limit now of somewhere around 12 minutes, so I need to end this. So until next time, guys, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless.